Y'all Harold here, and today we are going to go ahead and get uh, Ubuntu 1604 LTS installed. And we're going to do that real quick. Again, we're using a uh, Hyper-V within server 2012, and apparently it did not like my disk that I put in. So there we go. There's our ISO. And there we go. All right. So when you boot up to uh, your Ubuntu uh, server install disk, uh, whether you're doing it as a virtual environment or physical, uh, you come to this screen and you select your language, English for me, and we want to just go ahead and say install Ubuntu server. So here it asks what language I want. I want English again, and I am in the United States. And uh, we'll just say no, and we are an English keyboard, and we want an English keyboard. There we go. All right, so we want to give it a host name. Since this is going to be our monitoring server, um, and I'm Harold, we're going to call this uh, Harmony. Why not? Harmony. And Harold will be our username and account. And I will go ahead and create a password. And I'm not going to show it to you, so don't get any ideas. Um, we're not going to encrypt the home directory. Don't see any need to. And it's going to grab time. And it should find me on the west coast here. It's the slowest time server on the earth. Wonder if their time server is down. Wow, that was incredibly slow just to tell me that I'm on the west coast. Not in Los Angeles, but on the west coast. And we're going to use the entire disk. Just let it uh, set up everything for us. So, boom. And that is it. And we would like to write the changes to the disk. And the amount of value group to you. Yeah, that's perfect. Just continue. And we would like to write the changes. And off it goes, formatting our partitions. All right, so we don't have an HTT proxy, so I'll go ahead and say continue. And we're going to say no automatic updates, um, just so we don't run into any conflicts down the road. Um, we'll manually install updates as uh, we deem fit on a regular schedule. So we'll say no automatic updates. And we can't manage with landscape because landscape is a paid service. Um, here we have options to install various uh, base software. Um, we're going to skip this um, and do manual installs of what we would like. Here it's asking us if we'd like to grub bootloader on the hard disk, and we do. Um, we don't have any other OS's, so the grub is what we want. And the installation is finished, so we'll go ahead and say continue, and it will reboot this system. All right, now we're at the login, so we'll go ahead and get logged into the system. Ooh, 
Woohoo! So, um, as with any distribution of an operating system, it does not come up to date with all the security patches. So, the first thing we need to do here is just that. So we'll use sudo to become super user, or root, and we'll run apt-get update, and we will enter our password again, and this goes through and checks the uh, uh, repositories for any updates that are might be out there. And it did that, and what I meant to do before we did that is actually add uh, additional repositories. So we're going to do sudo uh, add apt repository uh, http colon slash slash archive.ubuntu.com slash ubuntu space and this is going to give us our re uh, release, lsb release sc, Oop. and then we want to add our main universe uh, restricted and multiverse repositories. So we'll go ahead and do that. Oh, why did I, did I get something wrong there? Oh, I see. I that's what I did. Oop. There's supposed to be a space there. Now enter. Okay, it added those repositories. So now we'll go back to our update. So now it'll check all these additional repositories as well. And we'll scroll down here. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and just for grins, um, we're going to go ahead and do apt get dash f install. Uh, oh, we need to sudo that. And that'll make sure everything's good. Perfect. So now we'll do apt get upgrade. Again, we need to sudo that. <laughs> so we've got additional packages to install, and we uh, want to go ahead and say yes to continue. And it'll go through and retrieve all that data and get the installation going. All right, now that the updates have been applied, we're just going to do uh, one more check uh, to make sure nothing else needs to be updated now that these packages have been updated. And it looks like we are all up to date. So let's go ahead and uh, next step will be to get OpenSSH server installed. So we'll do sudo apt get OpenSSH server and oh apt get install install OpenSSH server and we'll say actually let's say no before we do that. <laughs> Before we install the SSH server, let's set our static IP address. So we are going to edit the uh, interface file. So nano etsy network interfaces. 
And here we see that our interface is currently set to DHCP. And we're going to change this to static. And uh, with that, we're going to give it a static IP. And we're going to say address. And we're going to call this 172.16.4.11. So I'm using 411 because it's a monitoring server. It's all our information about what's going on the network. So that's my fun little fun. <laughs> um, Netmask is going to be 255.255.0.0 for me since I'm using a class B. Uh, and let's go ahead and do our uh, gateway is 172.16.1.1 and our DNS name servers are 172.16.1.1 and then we're going to go ahead and add addition, two additionals so we'll put a space and we'll use Google 8.8.8.8 and we'll use Verizon 4.2.2.2 and then we'll write this out with control O and control X to exit and oh did I not sudo that? No, I did not sudo that. Sudo nano, because this is a uh, protected file. So now I get to do this again. And we'll change this to static. Address 172.16.4.11. Uh, Netmask is 255.255.0.0. Gateway 172.16.1.1 and dns name servers 172.16.1.1 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8. and and 4.2.2.2 and now it'll write out and close so in order for this to take effect we have to restart our networking service so we'll do uh, sudo etsy init.d uh, networking reload and it can assign the requested address. So let's do stop and start. Let's do an IF config. And it still did not take that. We can see here that it's still uh, running on our DHCP address. So a reboot should take care of this. There must have been something else that was trying to take uh, over the network. So we'll get this guy going and check our interfaces. Okay, so we'll log in. And we'll do an if config. And there we go. We see our 172.16.4.11 on our inet address on eth0. So perfect. So now let's install OpenSSH server. So this will do sudo at oh, stupid terminal. There we go. Sudo apt get install open uh, ssh server and put our password in and we'll scroll down in hyper-v here and we do want to continue this operation Okay, so OpenSSH server has been installed. So the next step is to test to make sure that it is functioning. So uh, we will open up terminal on our Mac here and bring it on over to uh, our window that we can see in and we will do SSH uh, herald at um, 172.16.4.11 and do we want to uh, continue with this key? Yes, we do, of course. And, da, 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 da. and hey, we're in. So perfect. 
That worked out just fine. Um, so um, that's it for this video. Um, next up in this series on Ubuntu Server 16.04 LTS is actually getting uh, some monitoring uh, uh, software installed. Um, and the prerequisites for those is getting LAMP set up. And uh, we will cover the LAMP install as part of the Nagios build. Um, as Nagios has some fun quirks to it for installing from source. Um, because you'll, as you'll notice, um, apt get install Nagios. The only thing that's out here is Nagios 3 uh, as part of the repositories. And Nagios 4 is available. And I want to use it. So that's what we're going to do. And the quick start guide is broken on Ubuntu's website, or uh, not uh, Nagios's website for Ubuntu. Also, um, so there will be a modified installation based on their quick start guide. And uh, I'll talk more about that in that video. Anyway, um, that's all we got. And if you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're interested in more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Um, there's all kinds of stuff uh, as far as Windows servers, uh, Linux servers, uh, Mac OS X, um, networking, uh, scripting, pretty much all things IT. Um, so go ahead and check all that out, and we will see you next time.